I welcome all of you on uh, your PD education and uh, let me discuss with you today one of the very very relevant question which majority of the students who are uh, recently selected got selected in IIT, IIITs, NITs, ISCs they are asking. You know the question is that uh, whenever they get admitted into some department uh, like say NIT Trichinapalli or uh, NIT Allahabad or IIT Indore so first thing comes to the mind is what about the placement because largely we join the master courses for placement unless until obviously we have some another interest our main goal is uh, largely students want that uh, they should get good placement now obviously this question is to be asked what is the placement in particular department i have two three points to make here number one uh, placement statistics change every year in the same department let us say you are joined uh, VLSI in NIT Calicut. This year placement and next year placement will be hugely different. That is possible. I mean, in some year there will be 100% placement and another year it may be only 40% pla placement. That is statistics varies. This I'm saying on the basis of my own experience through my students. Whenever some student joins, let us say aerospace department, let's say IIT Madras aerospace department. So some year they say that sir, everybody got placed. Some year they say no sir, only 60-70% student got placed so far, others are not placed. So this situation is there in almost every department of IITs, NITs, triple IITs. There are certainly departments where 100% placement every, way, every year is there, that is there. But then there are majority of the departments where placement is less. Now, if you ask me a single number, single, single digit, as far as the placement is concerned over all IITs, all NITs, all triple IITs, all the departments, though it is very, I will say it is not practically possible to come out with such number, but I will say that number is 40 to 50 percent. That simply means all departments, all students, IIT, NIT, triple IIT, I cannot cup that way because IIT and triple IITs and NITs are different. But you also know that new IITs and old NITs, if I see, or some good performing triple IITs, then if I sum everything, the number hits somewhere around 40 to 50 percent. That is a number which we are thinking of. Now, that is the kind of statistics which we are getting in majority of these institutes. Now, uh, you know, there is a very relevant question among students that, sir, if in some department the placement is only 40 to 50 percent, placement is only 40 to 50 percent, then we should, whether we should join that department or not. Uh, first thing I told you is that uh, there is a huge variation in the placement. So you cannot say that last year it was 100 percent and next year also will be 100 percent. Or you cannot say last year it was 60 percent, so this year also it will be 60 percent, something like that you cannot quote. Something like that you cannot say. Now, I want to put forth another perspective here. And that perspective is, let's assume that placement is 40 to 50 percent only. This department which I am going to join, placement in that department is 40 to 50 percent only. Then what is to be done? You know, there is a way to think it. Why 40 to 50 percent? Because I always tell you that placement depends upon department and institute. Which institute, IIT Bombay, which department, core branch, main branch, placement, let's say, will be high. Which institute, let's say, new IIT or let's say, NIT in uh, Northeast or North India, mein, some NITs, uh, placement will not be good in those NITs. Or let's say, department is not very good department, it is interdisciplinary, new department, something like that, placement will not be good. That is one aspect. Second aspect is your own effort. Second aspect is your own effort. Masters student, I'm talking about the placement of masters, not graduates here. Master students, when they join MTech course or MS course, they already have degree in their pocket. So they can always apply outside the, they can always apply outside the institute also, outside IIT also. And since you are doing a, a masters, if you try on your own also outside, you get opportunities for interviews. Like if you are doing MTech and outside also you tried, outside also you got the uh, interview calls, you can do that also. Now through some exams like IPET and all, I think that we hope that this thing should improve. Now I want you to think of another perspective here and that perspective is this. You know, you can see 
half full half empty this is a very very famous uh, i mean uh, uh, analogy famous kind of philosophy that there is a perspective to see a uh, glass half full or glass half empty somebody will say okay this is a half full of water somebody will say half empty let us now see this half batch is placed half batch is not placed a student who is going to join the department he is saying okay sir half people are placed and i will be among those half you think yourself will be here or you think yours you self you will be here majority of the students what they talk to me they show apprehension because they think they themselves to be here why can't you think yourself to be here believe me if you really want to get placed and if you really want to get good uh, career after your masters course you need to think yourself here as i told you majority of iit nits and all placement you assume will be 50% if placement is 50% all you need to do is you have to put effort to be in this 50% whenever you write some competitive exam and all you know so many people compete and so many people compete you have to come out of and you have to be among top to get the career similarly in masters course the moment you join even if there is a 50% placement you know and you do not have option to get the course where placement is 100% at least 50% placement jahan pe hai ya 40% placement jahan pe hai why don't you put effort to be among this 40 50% and if you do that because other students uh, i know many students who are not interested in placement they are uh, doing some pre preparation they are preparing for some competitive exam or they are uh, preparing so for uh, their own Uh, higher education further abroad phd they will go 10 to 20% will try to go abroad for higher phd uh, phd options uh, then some of 20 30% students will be preparing for competitive exams like ps engineering services admission services so whatever are left who are seriously pursuing they get placed so what was the crux of this entire discussion was that placement statistics vary year to year number 2 even if your seniors or somebody tells you that only 40 to 50% placement is there not everybody get placed average placement you just assume yourself to be among these not among this and start putting effort from the very first day so that i should get placed i will make a video telling you how you are to prepare very well so that you get placed on your own last but not the least you are a masters uh, student you already have graduation degree with you and you can apply outside the campus also i mean uh, you need not to depend only upon the job through placement your credentials are good you need to enhance your credentials now there are so many software courses you can do online and something you can put your cv in the companies and if companies like your cv and they want you you can get job outside the campus also this is all can be done so be hopeful be positive be motivated and be uh, mentally in this particular group and then you pursue your course fine i think i made myself point my my point clear if you have any other urgent query or something you can always uh, shoot that inquiry and you can discuss with me thank you